human being, and you tell me why they're harvesting those parts for research for human vaccines. Why is that? They're looking for spleens. They're looking for little lungs, little brain tissues. That's human tissue, human organs. That's what you're here to, to protect right now. You're protecting the death of little babies. You're escorting these parents in there to kill their babies so Planned Parenthood can make thousands of dollars on selling body parts for research. That's the, that's the travesty that you're a part of. This is the truth that you're gonna hear this morning. This may be the first time that you've been here, but today you're gonna to hear the truth. You're not gonna hear the lies that Planned Parenthood sends you. These little children, and that's what they are, they're little human beings, they don't get a choice. What about the little girl babies inside these wombs? How come they don't get a choice? You're all about choice, right? You're all about choice only if it makes the mother be able to kill her child. How dare you? How dare you today stand out in front of this building and protect these women going in to kill their babies? The four of you need to stop today. You need to take off those rainbow vests right now. Take them off, get back in your cars, and never come back to this place again. Every one of these children that goes in this building today that gets murdered is going to be called against your record. God is going to hold you accountable. You're going to be held accountable for every one of these babies. 25 to 30 little babies are going to die with your name on them. God is going to come to you one day and he's going to say, Susie, he's going to say, Paula, Mary, Jeff, Joe, John, Steve, whatever your name is, is going to say, why did you let these babies come in here and get murdered? Why? You're going to have all of these babies with your name on them. The good news today is that you don't have to do that. The good news is that Christ has come to save your life as well as mine. For you see, the truth is we all are sinners. We all have been, we all have, have a, a life that needs Christ. We all need Christ today. It's not funny, man. Eternity is forever. Eternity is forever.